Hi everyone, it's Damien from Spreadsheets. Today we're going to look at the updated version of the Employee Attendance Tracker. This is a powerful, highly customizable tool for tracking and analyzing leave of your employees, students or volunteers. At the same time, it is very easy to use. This updated version comes with a range of great new features. A dashboard to help you quickly analyze your data. Option to allow for length of service, also known as accrued leave. Leave can now be calculated based on employee's start date. Option to filter employees in the overview. Option to show employee's ID and work shift. It is now possible to add employee notes and to add comments to leave dates. Employee database can be quickly imported. Data formatting can be changed between day, month, year and month, day, year. And lastly, it comes with extended options for sorting list of employees. Adding leave is still as easy as clicking leave type and then a date. In this video, I will discuss all features of the new employee attendance tracker. So if you use the previous version of the spreadsheet, then you will already be familiar with some of these. Let's start with a quick look at the dashboard. In this view, you have many insightful charts to help you quickly review how your employees take leave. This view is interactive, allowing you to choose an employee, a department, leave type and year that you would like to analyze in detail. Once you select an employee and a department, you can compare their average against company's average. Also included are charts with top 10 and bottom 10 employees and departments ranked based on the selected leave type. However, if you have no need to drill into big data, then you can disable this view altogether or make it only accessible to your admin. You can change this in the settings view. Now, let's look at the overview. If you make the spreadsheet viewable by your employees, then they will have access to the overview, detailed view and optionally the dashboard. The overview shows leave of every person in the company in one clear table. In this box, you change how many months are to be displayed in the table. Let's change to three months. And now let's change to one month. One month and three months views include a total which shows how many people are off on a particular day. This will help you understand available resources at a glance. Let's change back to full year view. To change year, click the arrows and the table will update automatically. In the settings view, you can choose whether you want to include such information as employee's ID, department or work shifts. If you disable these, then this view will look like this. Okay. If you choose to show departments, then you will have the option to filter this table. For example, if you want to only show employees that are in the architectural department, then select it from the drop down list and the list will update automatically. Now let's show all employees. If you have a large database, you may want to highlight an employee to make it easier to review their leave. To do that, click their name. To deselect it, click their name again. Next is the detailed view. This view shows leave records of a selected employee. If you set up an admin password in the settings view, then your employees will not be allowed to add or remove leave from the database. If they try, they will see this message. As an admin, you can decide whether your employees will be able to see the employees notes and the comments box. If you want these to be only visible to yourself, then this view will look like this. Right, let's bring these back and see how to add leave to the database. This is done very easily. Select an employee you want to add leave for. Next, select leave type by clicking its name. Then click a date you want to add the leave for. And that's it. The leave has been added to the database. No need to fill in long tables with leave records. To change it, click a different leave type and click the date. To remove it, click the date again. To change year, click the arrows. To add notes to a particular employee, double click within the notes box here. To add comment to a particular date, first double click the date, then either type in your comment in the comment box here or select one from a list of default comments. You can set up your own default comments in the settings view. To remove a comment, double click a date and then hit delete key on your keyboard. As an admin, you have access to the two remaining views, database and settings. In the database view, you can add new employees or add the details of existing ones. The first time you open this spreadsheet, it will be in demo mode. This means that several dummy employees have been added to allow you to experience the full potential of this spreadsheet. Especially the dashboard as it doesn't look too exciting with not enough data to plot charts. So to start using this spreadsheet, click here. This will remove all dummy employee details, including leave, notes and comments. Now we can add a new employee by entering his details in the white boxes. Make sure to fill in all boxes. 
All right, a new employee has been added. To remove an employee from the database, click the cross next to his details. This will also delete this employee's leave history, comments and notes. This cannot be reversed. You add office holidays in the same way. You can quickly import a large employee database by clicking import from database here. Now you copy and paste details of your employees and click import. Your employees details have been imported. Nice and simple. In the settings view, you can customize leave details and choose how the spreadsheet looks and works. First, review and all leave category names down here. The ones in blue are editable. Next, review and all leave types. Change name, select appropriate leave category, color and weighting. To remove leave type, select it and hit delete key on your keyboard. Now let's go through the various settings. Here is a long list of options to allow you to customize the spreadsheet to suit your needs. Let's start from the top. Choose whether leave is to be calculated based on employee's start date or simplistically based on annual leave carried over, which you specify per employee in the database view. If you select the annual leave carried over option, then make sure to enter company's start year here. Select which month the financial year starts on. This affects how annual leave entitlement is calculated, especially in the first year. Select whether week should be shown as starting on Monday or Sunday. Choose how you refer to leave, how you refer to your employees, whether employees are split into departments or group, you can also ignore this option altogether. Choose whether to show work shifts, how to sort employee list, there are quite a few options available, how to show employee names, whether to show leave statistics to your employees or to admin only, this controls visibility of statistics in the overview and the detailed view. Choose whether to allow adding leave over weekends and office holidays, and whether to allow for length of service. This is also known as accrued leave. What this means is that you can allow for increase of employees annual leave entitlement with years worked. You enter such details in the database view. Click this grey question mark to see how to do that. As an example, say an employee is entitled to 20 days of leave the first year, but the next year he is entitled to 22 days, then to 24 days and then to 26 days. You would therefore enter 2 in the additional entitlement column and 3 in the full number of years column, as shown on this print screen. In the next cell, enter your admin password to ensure that only authorized employees can edit this spreadsheet. This includes adding or removing employees and leave, adding comments and employee notes, etc. Make sure to set this up the first time you open the spreadsheet. By default, it's left blank. It is possible to set up a different admin password for each department. To do that, press Ctrl plus Shift plus P on your keyboard. In the next cell, you can change the date format. Choose between day, month, year and month, day, year. Here, you control whether the dashboard is to be visible to your employees or to admin only, whether departments are to be shown in the overview, whether to show employees ID, whether employee notes are to be visible to your employees or to admin only, Likewise with leave comments. You can also choose color and thickness of comments underline. And on the left here, you can customize default leave comments to suit your needs. And that is all. If you forget what a cell does, then there are gray question marks that bring up additional information. I hope you will find this spreadsheet useful. To see more interesting spreadsheets, go to yourspreadsheets.co.uk. Thanks for watching.